all right i'm live i hope all of you can hear me okay so many class student uh, class 12 students were asking me to make explanation video on uh, additional english so i started with the first lesson uh, from the poetry section which is the human seasons by john keats so without much delay mobile legends good evening <clears throat> and today i'm going to give you a little update about your class 10 and class 12 results also those who have appeared uh, the class 10 and 12 board exams i'm going to give you uh, some updates but after the class ends okay jab class end ho jayega uske baad main aap sab logo ko thoda result ke bare mein update de dunga okay so let us begin uh, meanwhile students can keep joining okay so the human seasons a very beautiful poem by john keats and uh, as you can see this is uh, from the additional english lesson of class 12 okay emboss and i am going to make here line by line explanation all right main ek line by line explanation yahan pe sabke liye dunga theek hai internet thoda sa slow hai but i hope uh, somehow i can finish the class okay so without delay let us start our class today meanwhile you can keep joining and those who will be late for the class you can watch uh, this video later also at any point of time no problem <clears throat> so we will begin uh, with stanza one actually this poem does not have any stanzas it is a sonnet actually a sonnet it is a sonnet actually what is a sonnet a sonnet is a 14 line poem a 14 line poem hota hai aapka sonnet Take a sonnet is a 14 line poem right so it is a sonnet but i have divided it stanza wise uh, for all of you to understand okay taaki sab logo ko samajh mein aaye isliye maine isko stanza mein divide kiya hai and each stanza uh, i have divided into four lines theek hai but otherwise you do not have stanza here okay is kavita mein is poem mein koi stanza nahi it's a 14 line poem so any 14 line poem is called a sonnet theek hai aap bas itna jaan lijiye so let us start with stanza 1 so stanza one says what four seasons fill the measure of the year there are four seasons in the mind of man he has his lusty spring when fancy clear takes in all beauty with an easy span so let us try to understand the explanation of the first stanza <clears throat> so the explanation for the first stanza is the poet john keats compares the four seasons with the stages of human life so it is very clear and easy to understand that john keats has compared the four seasons just like we have four seasons in our uh, in a in a year hai na har saal jo hai four char seasons aate hai four main seasons aate hai there are four main seasons in a year similarly these four seasons these four seasons have been compared with the four stages of human life starting from childhood till till old age okay and each of the uh, stages have been explained very nicely comparing it with the seasons her human stage ko bahut acche se explain kiya gaya hai uh, uh, un four seasons ke sath compare karke theek hai to here you can see that, that just like four seasons fill the year okay similarly there are four stages in the human beings too in the life of human beings too okay in the life of human beings too jaise ki saal mein char main seasons aate hain ya char seasons aate hain similarly in our life also in the life of human beings also we have four stages and each of the stages each of the seasons actually represent uh, each stage in our life the poet does not compare the seasons to describe human physical and now let us try to understand one thing that the poet actually does not uh, very deeply compare the seasons with our with the physical description of the human beings poet jo hai kisi bhi season ko ह्यूमन बींग्स का फिजिकल स्ट्रक्चर के साथ वो कंपेयर नहीं कर रहे देर इज वेरी लेस कंपेरिजन एक्चुअली ना के बराबर ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल टू नो ओके गुड इवनिंग विशाल ओके सो ही हैज ट्राइड टू एक्सप्लेन द फोर सीजन इन टर्म्स ऑफ इमोशनल मेंटल स्पिरिचुअल ग्रोथ 
not physical growth okay emotional mental spiritual growth with this he has compared the four seasons not physically okay okay now rather the poet says that different seasons are linked with the human mind so it is given in the first stanza itself you see that four seasons fill the measure of the year that means just like we have four seasons that fills the year there are four seasons in the mind of man so this mind of man human mind okay not the human beings in terms of its physical characteristics or physical features theek okay? hai so these four seasons are linked with the human mind in other words how humans look at things from their childhood till old age matlab from their childhood from our childhood till our old age how we look at things With that, the poet has compared the four seasons. ठीक है हम जब जैसे जैसे हम बड़े होते जाते हैं ओके फ्रॉम चाइल्डहुड दिस जर्नी फ्रॉम चाइल्डहुड टिल ओल्ड एज एज वी गो ऑन ग्रोइंग हाउ आवर आउटलुक चेंजेस हाउ वी लुक एट थिंग्स हाउ आवर परस्पेक्टिव हाउ आवर माइंड चेंजेस स्लोली स्लोली स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम चाइल्डहुड टिल ओल्ड एज ठीक है दैट इज बींग डिस्कस्ड इन द पोम दैट दैट इज बींग टॉक्ट अबाउट इन द पोम बाय द पोएट Bojon, good evening. So the first season that we see is the first season is spring, which represents childhood. The first season spring. Please remember this. It, these are quite asked in the exam as short questions and answers. Fill in the blanks. Um, true and false. So the first season, which is spring, is compared with childhood. So the first spring season, which is spring, is compared with childhood. So the first spring season, which is spring, now childhood is what childhood is a stage of beauty happiness and lust lust yahan pe lust sometimes uh, means greedy also lalchi ya lalach okay lust some lust sometimes means greedy also but here in this context lust is activeness playfulness full of fun theek to so childhood uh, basically uh, kaisa stage hai ye stage hai beauty ka happiness ka ya activeness ka you know child children keep playing having fun so this stage is actually of beauty happiness lust you don't have any tension okay your parents look after you so this is the stage of beauty happiness and activeness okay then childhood stage shows physical stamina obviously when you are a child you have physical stamina you can play whole day also without getting tired and uh, childhood stage also uh, represents outdoor activities bahut sare outdoor activities hote hain childhood stages mein playfulness is there fun is there okay this stage is also considered innocent as innocent is stage ko hum log ek innocent stage bhi bol sakte hain and this stage is compared to which season this stage has been compared to spring hai na even in spring season also you see that uh, you know uh, there are flowers flowers blooming all around there is greenery all around hai na hara bhara hota hai pura jo atmosphere hota hai uh, environment hota hai wo pura hara bhara hota hai so the environment of is all green right so our childhood uh, childhood is also something like that only then in this stage uh, we are free from any thoughts we do not have any deep thoughts coming into our mind so hamare dil mein hamare mind mein koi deep thoughts nahi aate we just keep on playing deep thoughts is from our parent side okay uh, how to you know pay the fees of our school uh, how to pay tuition fees Uh, fees of books pen uh, you know pencils all stationery item shoes uh, uniforms dress all these thoughts tensions are of our parents actually not it does not come from us so we are free from any kind of thoughts so thoughts here also you can take it as tensions anxiety we do not have any anxiety or tension during our childhood stage we take everything in a very easy manner so if you look at the line once again easy span right so we take everything in a very easy manner which is represented by the word span in the first stanza yes i will complete all the class 12 uh, alti uh, as fast as possible i have started and uh, i have made many more uh, such uh, presentations actually i have prepared the uh, explanations uh, i will go on making very quickly so that i can finish your syllabus okay so in this stage what we see is that we take everything in a very easy manner there is no force or compulsion on us so nobody forces are or nobody uh, tries to you know make things compulsory for us we are given complete freedom during childhood right so this stage 
we take in a very easy manner like spring season spring season why spring season has been compared with childhood stage it is because in spring season also you see there is no tension there is no anxiety there is greenery all around flowers blooming you know bees coming collecting honeys uh, uh, collecting juices fluids from the flowers and making honey so it's tension free similarly our childhood stage is also completely tension free there is no force or compulsion on us koi hum pe zabardasti nahi karta hai hum sab kuch bahut easy tarike se lete hame kisi cheez ka tension nahi hota hai aur is stage ko hum innocent stage bhi bolte hai childhood stage is also considered as an innocent stage <coughs> now stanza 2 i hope you have understood stanza 1 stanza 2 he has his summer when luxuriously springs honeyed cut of youthful thought he loves to ruminate and by such dreaming high is nearest unto heaven quiet curves okay i would suggest all the students to keep the book in front of you okay otherwise it will be difficult because i cannot come back to this uh, slide again and again right so keep the textbook in front of you and whenever necessary i'll come back to the slide okay but it is better you keep the textbook in front of you then what is the explanation of the second stanza so the in the second stanza this is the second stage of human life with, which is compared to summer season if i just go back little he has his summer that means in the second stanza the poet says that this is the second stage in the human life which is compared to summer season and which is marked by harvest growth fertility and vegetation that means what we now start to develop little bit of thoughts okay we now start to develop little bit of thoughts uh, thought. so we have growth we have uh, you know uh, little bit of maturity little bit of maturity not full maturity but little bit of maturity at least little more than childhood stage theek hai na childhood stage se thoda sa zyada maturity hum logo mein aa jata hai theek hai ab ye stage kaun sa stage hai what stage is this first stage is the stage of childhood what is the second stage This stage is marked by the end of childhood innocence. So, यहाँ पे innocence खत्म हो जाता है, but not fully. We still have little bit of innocence left in us. This stage is the youth stage, the young stage. Okay, that you all people have. Okay, हम लोग बोलते हैं कि youth stage जो है, वो हम लोग बोल सकते हैं adolescent stage. Okay, इस stage में हम लोगों का innocence completely खत्म नहीं होता है. you can say that 70% innocence is gone in childhood now you have you are left with 30% of uh, innocence only in you okay because in this stage you start to develop thoughts this stage is the youth stage the second line in this stanza gives this evidence so second line jo hai is stanza mein ye evidence deta hai ki springs honeyed cut of youthful thought so youth right youthful thought तो जवानी जो होता है ना हम यूथ स्टेज को हम सिंपली हिंदी में बोल सकते हैं वी कैन सिंपली टेल इन हिंदी एज जवानी का स्टेज ना हम जवान हो रहे हैं अब चाइल्डहुड से जो है हम जवान हो रहे हैं तो हमारे अंदर जो है इनोसेंस चाइल्डहुड इनोसेंस हमारे अंदर नहीं होता है कुछ कुछ इनोसेंस अभी भी बाकी है ठीक है स्प्रिंग एंड समर आर वेरी क्लोजली रिलेटेड टू वन अनदर अब स्प्रिंग और समर आर वेरी क्लोजली रिलेटेड टू वन अनदर हाउ बिकॉज कंप्लीट इनोसेंस इज नॉट गॉन सो यू हैव लिटिल बिट ऑफ चाइल्डहुड इन यू तो चाइल्डहुड स्टेज इज कंपेयर टू स्प्रिंग सीजन एंड समर विथ यूथ सो वी कैन से दैट स्प्रिंग एंड समर दैट मीन्स चाइल्डहुड एंड यूथ स्टेज आर क्लोजली रिलेटेड टू वन अनदर बिकॉज यू स्टिल हैव दैट इनोसेंट थिंग इन यू लिटिल बिट ऑफ इनोसेंट थिंग इन यू सो स्प्रिंग एंड समर आर स्टिल क्लोजली रिलेटेड टू वन अनदर अब यहाँ पे एक फ्रेज यूज किया गया है स्प्रिंग हनीट कट अब वॉट इज दिस cud cud means partly digested food returned from the stomach for further digestion which is generally done by cows you see that you will see that cows keep on chewing something right agar aap logon ne cow ko dekha hoga kisi gai ko dekha hoga if you have seen any cow you see that it keeps on chewing something actually what is the process is that the process is cow will chew and then it will put it back and store it on uh, you know inside the throat right and then when they feel hungry or they, they want to pass some time they will put, bring it back again in their mouth and go on di- you know the, uh, digesting again so spring and summer is something like that only you see whatever happens in childhood that same thing is again repeated in youthful stage also though 30% is repeated in youthful stage but still it is repeated okay 
Now, according to the poet, this curd, when mixed with honey, becomes tastier. Now, what is the difference then? If that same childhood thing comes in the youthful stage also, what is the difference? No. Here in the youthful stage, what happens? Little more colors are added. If I have to give an example, okay. The poet is telling here that this curd is mixed with honey. In the childhood stage, it is just a curd. Okay. You keep on doing the same thing again and again. But in the youthful stage, this curd is mixed with honey. So there is a difference in flavor. There is a difference in taste now. So taste means thora sa difference aagya ki nahi. Right? So when you mix this curd with honey, this honey becomes tastier. Right or wrong? It's not it. This curd becomes tastier. Ye curd aur zada tastier ho jata hai. Ab if I have to give an example, how you see, <coughs> during the childhood stage, all your friends are all you know, small, like 8-year-old, 9-year-old, 7-year-old, uh, then 6-year-old. Okay, normally if you look at them, what do you see? They keep on playing or sometimes they fight with one another, but there is no big issue in them. Now, the moment you enter the youth stage, jab bhi aap jawan ho rahe hai, ya jawani ke stage pe pohte, when you read this youth stage, you start having different kinds of friends you would like to go to the party right or wrong you would like to go to the party you would like to go uh, you know have prom nights musical nights where djs keep playing you know beautiful songs uh, dance songs right or wrong so your this youthful stage is mixed with so much of enjoyment so that curd is mixed with honey Hannah, that curd is mixed with honey it becomes tastier now what happens in the youthful stage? More colors are added. You start having more fun, more enjoyment in a different manner. Thora se different manner mein aap aur zada enjoy kar rahe hote. To thora jo innocent, innocence aap ke andar bacha hai, whatever innocence is now left in you. Okay, maybe 20%, 30% innocence is left in you still in the youthful stage. Aap ki youthful stage mein abhi bhi jo hai 20%, 30% innocent baaki hai. Wo pura complete it has not ended completely. Okay. I hope you have understood. So, Spring's honeyed curd. If we take it So, Spring's honeyed curd means that the joyfulness of childhood, which is spring, is still found in the youth stage, which is summer season. Right? So, Spring's honeyed curd, if you take Spring's honeyed curd together, it means that the joyfulness of childhood is still found in the youth stage also. But in a little different manner. Thore se different manner. Mein. Childhood mein aap kaha party mein jate hai? During the childhood stage, do you go to the parties? No, you are not allowed to go anywhere. But when you enter stage, you are given, given little bit of more freedom. You can come late at home also. There is no problem. Right? <clears throat> okay. So, Keats also mentions to ruminate, which means to think deeply. So, ruminate ka meaning kya? In stanza 2, you will see that there is a word called to ruminate. To ruminate means to think deeply. Now, in this particular stage, which is different from, I told you, you know, the 30% of innocence is left and 70% now you start developing thoughts. You now start thinking deeply about your career, about your future, about so many things. There are so many things that might give you tension. There are so many things that might make you anxious, right? So, you start to ruminate. That means you start to think deeply. So, during the youth stage, our mind begins to develop thoughts and we reflect what we did in our childhood. So, hum logo ne apne childhood mein jo bhi kiya, whatever we have done in our childhood, we start reflecting on those past incidents or happenings and we start to develop thoughts. Okay, whatever mistake you have made in childhood, say for example, somebody is not, somebody during the childhood stage, a, ch a child, say for example, is not good in mathematics. But when the child enters the youth stage, he takes interest in mathematics. So this is the difference. You, your mind begins to develop thoughts now. Your mind has, uh, you know, began to grow now. Aapka mind jo hai, wo grow hona start kar deta. And you keep reflect, uh, reflecting, you keep thinking what you have done in your childhood stage. Right? Okay? So here in this stage, we start developing thoughts. Now, during the summer, which is youth season, we reflect on our Spring also, which is childhood stage. So, during our youth stage, we also reflect our childhood stage as I just told you. In our youth stage, maybe we have childhood ke bare mein thoda bahut soch te. We keep thinking about our childhood stage also, even after we have entered the youth stage. 
we gain a sense of enlightenment or dream high you see in the youth stage it is obvious that you have you start having ambitions in life <clears throat> you start having ambitions in life or aims in life that i want to become a doctor i want to become an engineer i want to become this i want to become that during this childhood stage this dream is not so you know concrete this dream is not so fixed but in this youth stage what happens is that you start dreaming high now of earning more money of getting job in a big company okay so you gain a sense of enlightenment or you start dreaming high in this stage and this enlightenment according to the poet this enlightenment is nearest to heaven this enlightenment this dreaming high will take you near to heaven heaven means a very happy stage right heaven does not mean it is uh, the poet means to say that heaven means a place where after death people go if they have done good good things they go there it is not that heaven means a very happy stage okay so this enlightenment will take you more you know nearer to heaven okay and while going nearer to heaven he enters the silent curves curves means shelter so while you go to heaven that means see in this second stanza itself the poet is taking us to the next stage also so while going nearer to heaven this youth okay he silently enters the shelter of autumn which is the next season or stage to dheere dheere jo hai from the youthful stage the poet is taking us to the next stage which is autumn and autumn represents which human stage we will learn that in the next stanza i hope you have understood this thing okay So stanza four. I told you already that this poem does not have any stanza. Actually, it is a sonnet, a fourteen-line full poem. Okay, but I have divided stanza wise to explain <coughs> you better so that you understand better. <coughs> his soul has in its autumn when his wings. So autumn word is mentioned here. That means in stanza four we have now gone to autumn. So he his soul has in its autumn when his wings he falleth close. Contented so to look on mists in idleness, to let fair things pass by unheeded, unheeded as a threshold brook. Now here, what do we see in this stanza? Keats mentions about the season autumn, which represents the later adulthood stage. Okay, early adulthood, youth stage, later adulthood, which is the later stage. Okay, autumn season. ठीक है देखिए यूथफुल स्टेज क्या होता है यूथफुल स्टेज यू कैन यूथ स्टेज यू कैन ऑल्सो से अर्ली एडल्टुड अर्ली एडल्ट स्टेज एंड दिस ऑटम सीजन इट इज द लेटर एडल्ट स्टेज ओके लेटर एडल्ट स्टेज लेटर एडल्ट स्टेज ओके ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड यूथ यू कैन कंसिडर यूथ एज अर्ली adult stage and autumn season as late or later adult stage theek hai so in this stanza keeps mentions about the season autumn which represents the later adult stage of the human life so autumn represent karta hai the last stage of adult hood okay the last stage of adulthood after adulthood we will enter old age adulthood ke baad hum jo hai old age mein enter karte hain all right so In this stanza, our thoughts become more mature. Obviously, in youthful stage, we start developing our thoughts. है ना youthful stage में हम अपना thoughts develop करना शुरू कर देते हैं. So youth stage is the early adulthood stage. But what will happen in the later adulthood stage is that your thoughts now become mature. Okay, more mature. We cannot say fully mature, but it becomes more mature. And this is the stage of higher imagination. See, I'll give an example in this way. <clears throat> When I was in my college, uh, college, obviously uh, in my youthful stage, if I take in that, I had lots of dreams. I wanted to become this. I wanted to become that. I wanted to become a sometimes maybe a cricketer, sometimes a footballer, sometimes a singer, sometimes a scientist, sometimes this, sometimes that. So my thought was fluctuating. I was not constant with my thought. Right. but when i became an adult then i understood that that all those aims that i had in my mind becoming a singer becoming 
uh, a scientist becoming a doctor becoming this becoming that all those vanished because all those thoughts were useless now my thoughts had become more matured okay in the youthful stage there is another thing also that you might have uh, come around because all of you are young only all of you fall in this youthful stage only you must have come across i'm sorry you must have come across this in this stage what happens is that uh, you react too much when somebody tells you something and you don't like it you react too much maybe you will go and just slap that person or hit that person but when you enter this later adulthood stage you will compose yourself hai na aap apne aap ko rok lenge you will not pick a fight with anybody and everybody on the road you have that maturity sense in you no i will not fight let me go and talk to that person instead of fighting but in the youth stage this does not happen somebody tells you something or maybe uh, somebody has beaten your friend without understanding the issue you go with your friend and you start beating the other person this happens in the youth stage but when you come to this later adulthood stage you become more mature you will not do anything that will uh, you know that will bring your name down aap aisa kuch nahi karenge jisse ki aapka naam jo hai wo badnam hota hai aap apne aap ko rok lenge aap sochenge teen char baar paanch baar aap apne dost se puchhenge what have you done that that person is beaten tumne kya tumne kuch kiya hoga ki usne tumhe mara you will try to analyze things so yahan pe hum ek cheez dekh sakte hai ki we in the later adult to stage we analyze is stage mein hum analyze karte hain cheezon ko so that is why this is the stage of higher imagination that is why इसीलिए स्टेज को हायर इमेजिनेशन का स्टेज बोला गया है कुछ करने से पहले आप एनालाइज करते हो इसको बिफोर डूइंग एनीथिंग यू फर्स्ट एनालाइज इट यू डोंट सिंपली रिएक्ट विदाउट एनी रीजन राइट ऑल राइट अ मैन बिकम्स इमोशनली स्टेबल एंड वाइजर ऑब्वियसली आई टोल्ड यू जस्ट नाउ दैट यू बिकम इमोशनली स्टेबल एंड वाइजर इन द लेटर एडल्टुड स्टेज एक लेटर एडल्टुड स्टेज में हर आदमी जो है वो बहुत स्टेबल होता है इमोशनली वो रिएक्ट नहीं करता है हर बात पे ही डज नॉट रिएक्ट at everything he becomes wiser wo aur zyada buddhiman hota that means he resigns himself or in other words wraps himself up the the phrase that has been used in the poem is furleth close that means he wraps himself up in the youth stage you are too much open okay somebody did something you will just simply go and pick a fight with him quarrel with him but here in this stage you resign yourself you compose yourself you wrap yourself up you know when you feel cold what do you do you put uh, you go go under the blanket and you wrap yourself up in that same way in this particular later adulthood stage you wrap yourself up when we wrap something what do we do we close it right you are wrapping a gift what do you do you wrap it you close it right you compose it so that it looks beautiful so here in this stage you actually wrap yourself up you don't react to everything and anything his mind is at peace so our mind is at peace at this stage and he is contented satisfied contented means satisfied with things around him in the youth stage you are not satisfied with anything if you look at yourself you are not satisfied with anything but here in the later adulthood stage when you have become matured now your mind is at peace now aapka mind jo hai wo ekdam shanti purna hota hai आप अपने आप से खुश है यू आर कंटेंटेड वॉट एवर यू वॉट इन लाइफ यू आर हैप्पी विद दैट एंड वॉट एवर थिंग्स आर देयर अराउंड यू यू आर हैप्पी विद दैट ऑल्सो इन द लेटर अडल्ट स्टेज ठीक है गुड इवनिंग ओके राइट एंड ही अलाउज थिंग्स टू पास बाय वॉट एवर ही हैड डन इन इज चाइल्डहुड और यूथ डेज जस्ट लाइक ए स्ट्रीम दैट पास इज बाय साइड ऑब्वियसली you see whatever you have done in your childhood and youth stage what you will do now in the later adulthood stages you will not repeat those things again you will not simply pick a fight with anybody and everybody on the road side that you have done in your youth days so you will let it go if somebody tells you something you will give a smile and let it go just like a stream that passes by our side jaise ki koi jharna हमारे साइड से जा रहा है स्ट्रीम इज पासिंग बाय अस नो विल यू जंप ऑन दैट नो यू विल बी टेकन अवे राइट द करंट ऑफ द स्ट्रीम विल टेक यू अवे सो हियर बिफोर डूइंग एनीथिंग यू विल एनालाइज थिंग्स एंड व्हाट एवर यू हैव डन इन योर चाइल्डहुड और यूथ डेज अपने जवानी में या अपने बचपन में आपने जो भी किया आप उन चीजों को दोबारा रिपीट नहीं करेंगे 
और जैसे कि कोई झरना जो है हमारे पास से चला जाता है आप उसी तरीके से उन सब चीज़ों को जाने देंगे यू विल नॉट रिपीट दोज थिंग्स अगेन इन योर लेटर एडल्ट स्टेज तो इन दिस स्टेज वी आर अवेयर ऑफ आवर सराउंडिंग्स हमारे आसपास जो हो रहा है हम इसे अवेयर है वाकिफ है वी नो वट इज हैपनिंग अराउंड अस बट इट डज नॉट अफेक्ट अस मच वो हमें अफेक्ट ज़्यादा नहीं करते जैसे कि मैं अगर मैं अपने एग्जाम्पल दूँ आई एम डो नॉट इन द लेटर एडल्ट स्टेज बट स्टिल आई कैन से दैट आई एम देर ऑलमोस्ट इन द लेटर एडल्ट स्टेज देर आर मेनी थिंग्स हैपनिंग इन एंड अराउंड अस और इन एंड अराउंड मी बहुत कुछ होता है मेरे आस पास आस पास मतलब आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग माई नेबरहुड आई एम टॉकिंग वट एवर इज हैपनिंग वेर एवर आई एम गोइंग वट इज वट एवर इज हैपनिंग अराउंड मी इट डज नॉट अफेक्ट मी मच आई कैन यूज माई ब्रेन एंड एनालाइज थिंग्स and then act accordingly. I will act accordingly. I will not act impulsively. मैं बहुत impulsively act नहीं करूँगा मैं सोचूंगा कि मुझे वहाँ जाना चाहिए या नहीं Should I go there or not? If I feel I should not go, I will not go. So it does not affect me much. And we are not driven or attracted by delights that our environment now offers us. In youth stage, what used to happen? Say a friend called you. <clears throat> let's have party together so there will be drinks and these things and those things so you are attracted during the youthful stage you are driven by or you are attracted by those offers but now in this stage that does not affect me much so i am not attracted any adult person is not attracted is not delighted by whatever our environment is offering us if that offer is beneficial for me only then i will go otherwise i will not go agar koi agar mujhe kuch offer karta hai कोई भी चीज कोई पार्टी हो कोई इनविटेशन हो एनी इनविटेशन एनी पार्टी एनी वेयर इफ समी इज गिविंग मैन ऑफर इफ आई सी दैट ऑफर इज बेनिफिशियल ओनली देन आई विल गो अदरवाइज आई विल नॉट गो इफ आई सी दैट समथिंग नेगेटिव इज गोइंग टू हैपन ओवर दैट पार्टी इन दैट पार्टी आई विल नॉट गो और आफ्टर गोइंग टू दैट पार्टी इफ आई सी दैट समथिंग नेगेटिव इज ऑलरेडी हैपन आई विल सिंपली वेरी साइलेंटली स्लिप अवे मैं वहाँ से भाग निकलूंगा चुपचाप है ना तो दीज थिंग्स डो नॉट नाउ अफेक्ट अस सो इन द लेटर अडल्टुड स्टेज आवर माइंड इज फुल्ली कम्पोज सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेज आवर माइंड इज फुल्ली एट पीस इट इज फुल्ली कम्पोज रिलैक्स कम्पोज हियर मीन्स आवर माइंड इज फुल्ली रिलैक्स वी डोंट हैव टेंशन एंड एंगजाइटीज विल बी देयर बट आई एम ट्राइंग टू सेट वी नाउ लर्न टू एनालाइज थिंग्स सो वी आर कम्प्लीटली रिलैक्सड इन दिस स्टेज ओके and we don't regret see your friend called you in the youthful stage in the youth stage youth stage mein your friend called you you denied you refused that i will not go and then later you start regretting hey i told no to my friend he will mind what he will think about me this and that but now in this stage if i refuse a friend no i don't think it later okay because when i'm telling him no i have thought over and over again and then only i have told him no so no regrets in this later adulthood stage then the last two lines okay the last two lines is he has his winter too of pale his feature or else he would forego his mortal nature this is the last stage this is the last human stage ye kya hai ye last human stage hai and what is the last human stage i told you in the beginning of the video itself the last human stage is let us see the explanation in the final stage or couplet this is the couplet okay two lines together each speaks of the winter season obviously if you will see here the last stage is the winter season so the first is spring see, the first season is spring the second is summer the third is autumn and the last is winter spring is childhood right there is a quiz that i am asking summer is youth or early adulthood early adulthood <clears throat> autumn is later adulthood the last stage of adulthood and winter is what we will learn now we do not know okay we will learn now okay you can take this down or take a screenshot or whatever is convenient for all of you so winter season symbolizes yes old age winter season kya symbolize karta hai winter winter season symbolize karta hai old age because if you look at winter season you will see that all the leaves have fallen down the 
नेचर इज कम्प्लीटली ड्राई नेचर जो है वो पूरा ड्राई होता है इन द ओल्ड स्टेज ऑल्सो इट इज समथिंग लाइक दैट ऑल्सो एंड दिस इज द लास्ट स्टेज इन अ मैं लाइफ बिकॉज आफ्टर दिस इट इज डेथ सॉरी विंटर सीजन सिम्बोलाइज वॉट ओल्ड एज ओके जस्ट लाइक विंटर सिम्बोलाइज ड्राइनेस तो winter in the human stage it is old age and this is the last stage in the man's life obviously after it as i said it is death the phrase pale mist feature means it suggests the physical features of this stage now i told you in the beginning that the poet actually talks about the human mind he compares human mind with the four seasons he does not talk about humans physically but here in this particular stage the poet speaks of human physically also plus emotionally mentally and spiritually also. तो फिजिकल मेंटल इमोशनल स्पिरिचुअल ऑल दिस फोर थिंग्स आर देयर इन दिस लास्ट टू लाइन्स विंटर सीजन आवर ओल्ड एज ओके सो द फिजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ दिस सीज नाउ यू कैन इजीली गेस बिफोर गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट पेज यू कैन इजीली गेस दैट पेल मिस फीचर सजेस्ट द फिजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ दिस स्टेज इफ यू लुक एट विंटर सीजन फ्रॉम योर ओन आइडिया इफ यू इफ यू लुक एट विंटर सीजन वट डू यू फाइंड यू फाइंड कंप्लीट ड्राइनेस leaves from the trees have fallen down right uh, you don't find vegetables vegetations these and that growing around there is no greenery it's completely dry similarly in old age what happens we become thin our body becomes bent we cannot stand straight we cannot walk fast we walk very slow i mean old people i will also become old one day you will also become old one day so we will not be able to walk right all our energy will be gone right this is what i'm going to explain you here see a man becomes physically weak he is bent down his energy fails right so we become physically weak we are bent down we cannot stand or sit straight and all our energy has failed we cannot walk fast we cannot eat fast we cannot do anything fast so childhood youth and adult stage we do everything very energetically but here we cannot do and at this stage a man mentally prepares himself for death obviously in this stage when old age comes you will see plenty of old people those who have reached their 70s or 80s you will see these old people okay our previous generation they'll keep telling one thing that my time is coming very soon mera samay bahut jaldi aa raha hai aur bahut jaldi jaldi main jaane wala hu so he is mentally preparing himself for death okay so here keith suggests the inevitability of death what is inevitability something that you cannot stop can we stop death from coming no we cannot stop death from coming death is universal so in other words no one can stop death from coming to us inevitability means that it something that cannot be stopped kisi cheez ko roka nahi ja sakta uska meaning hai inevitability so keith here tells that no one can stop death from coming to us death is our final destiny death hi hum logo ka final destiny hai not even birth also we do not know whether we are going to take another birth or not but when we take birth death is certain death is for sure right or wrong theek hai hame to pata nahi ki hum dobara janam lenge ki nahi lenge lekin agar lenge to death to final hai right death to universal hai. this is the thing okay so death is our final destiny okay all right so here <clears throat> the universality of death the universality of death is being suggested here by the poet all right so we must always think about uh death i'm not telling to be negative but we must always you know if people keep, keep thinking about that i'm going to die one day you know that person will be changed completely he will do good things only he will never do evil things agar hum ye sochna shuru kar de ke ek din to marna hai one or, or the other day we have to die let us do good good things and die so that people will talk good things about us you know when a criminal dies nobody tells or nobody shed tears no one shed tears right कोई आंसू नहीं आता जब कोई क्रिमिनल मरता है लेकिन अगर कोई अच्छा आदमी मरता है गुड पर्सन डाइज वी क्राई और वी फील बैड एट लीस्ट दिस इज लाइफ एक्चुअली सो वी मस्ट डू गुड गुड थिंग्स एंड डाइज सो दैट पीपल विल टॉक गुड अबाउट अस राइट इन दिस वर्ल्ड देर इज नथिंग लेफ्ट ओनली गुडनेस विल बी लेफ्ट ठीक है अच्छाई जो है वही रहेगा 
लोग हमारे बारे में दो बात अच्छे बोलेंगे तो मर के भी मजा आएगा है ना तो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एक्सप्लेनेशन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू वट डस्ट टू देशन वेरी नाइस लाइफ ऑफ द लाइफ सेशन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू दो कुड नॉट ज्वाइन एक्चुअली आई कुड नॉट इन्फॉर्म ऑल्सो ऑन टाइम आई वॉज नॉट फेल ऑल्सो आई एम स्टिल हैविंग सो थ्रोट एंड यू नो देर इज पेन इन द थ्रोट एक्चुअली आई कैन नॉट स्पीक वेरी लाउडली बट आई ट्राई आई एम ट्राइंग माई बेस्ट एक्चुअली एनी वे सम हाउ आई हैव कम्प्लीटेड एंड I have completed very nicely. And regarding your result, uh, let me tell you that many students are telling me that on fifth of May they heard that result is going to be declared. Today is fifth of May. There is no such news. I told those students, and I keep on telling the students again and again and again and again and again that unless and until MBOS will give, I will put this in the end screen. I will put that video that I made last time. I will put it in the end screen also, and in the I button also. Please watch that video. Please watch that video that. some websites are there who are circulating the fake news that embos result will be declared on 5th somebody is telling it will be declared on 10th there is no such official notification from embos please try to understand there is no such official notification from embos so please do not simply go on making assumptions or go on forwarding such kind of messages to your friends if you get any such picture okay don't do all these things please I will be there to inform you about result. Don't worry. I will inform you about result once the moment I get not notification. Okay, I will inform you uh, on my channel itself. And I in the last video I have given you some websites, and I have told you how to check genuine news about results. Right? You watch that video. I'll put on my end screen. आपको मेरे पहले end screen पे generally I have four end screen videos that you can watch. Now I'll put it here only. Immediately after this video ends. uh you'll be able to find it here on all right aap yahan pe check kar lijiye wo cheez okay so that's all from me for today thank you so much for watching the video and uh, joining the live session and finally subscribe to the channel like and share the video and please invite your friends also because i'm going to upload more videos from class 12 alternative english and i will complete your syllabus uh you know within the next couple of months or three months okay So that's all with love from Omnigan. I'm ending the live streaming from all of you with love from Omnigan, and all the best to all of you. Those whose results you're awaiting your results. Okay, all the best to all of you. One second with love from Omnigan, and uh, very all the best to all of you. Good night.